hello hello how are you today as you can see I'm on my own so do say hello to me and then I won't feel so lonely <laughs> let's see who's here today so um, today I am sitting in the office which is used to be one of our rooms with fabric in but we've moved everything around and this is where we do all our dispatching and all our computer work behind the scenes apart from what I do at home which is probably most of the time <laughs> so hi Valerie hi Katrina so Brenda sends her apologies unfortunately she's had to say goodbye to her dog today so she's not really feeling in tier 3 mode today so we're sending all our love to her hi Donna hi Trish how are you and um, rest in peace Snooky. it's very sad but you know, she she had lived a life. Snooky had lived a life. Hello, Carol. Hi, Janice. Hi, Christina. How are you today? Lovely to see you. So, yeah, I'm sitting in what is usually Brenda's chair, her managerial chair. There we go. <laughs> and um, broadcasting from here today because I had to have my computer plugged in. I thought I'd plugged it in and I hadn't. Hi Lola, hi Sue, how are you today? So, thank you Valerie, we'll pass on the hugs. She may, maybe she'll pop on later. So yeah, she needs hugs today. It's always a horrible day. Yay. Hi Kathy from Pukekoe, how are you in Pukekoe today? Hi Pauline. Oh, lovely to see you all. So, tea at three, except I didn't manage to get my cup of tea. I'm a bit behind with all the jobs, so you'll have to bear with me today. <laughs> I have just managed to print out the giveaway entries. That's the most important job, so I've done that. Hi, Sue from Auckland. Um, so, so that's organised, and a few, most things are organised, but some are a little bit not quite there yet, so you'll just have to be patient with us. Um, but I will start by showing you, hi Gwyneth, um, some new fabrics that arrived the other day. Anna, hey, Fongaray, how are you today? And Joan, hello. Oh, lovely, lots of new people. We've had lots of entries for the giveaway this week as well, which is very exciting. So, um, first new fabric that arrived, I ordered this mainly because my son when he was 14, was absolutely addicted to chess. And so I just thought, well, I have to have these. Uh, plus they're black and whites anyway, so they're very help helpful for um, black and white quilts. But it's called Checkmate by Robert Kaufman. Now these are, they've arrived in. Brenda's put them on bolts. She's cut fat quarters, but we haven't put them on the system yet. So this is where I'm saying, you'll have to bear with us. <laughs> we'll get there. Hi Pauline from Paraparam. There we go. So there's that one. So there's the black chess pieces on the white, white background. And of course, there are white chess pieces on a black background. And chessboard. So I think those are pretty cool. That would make a really fun quilt for somebody that loves chess. In fact, Tom has started going back to chess club again now, so hmm. Maybe I will have to do something with those. <laughs> uh, right, I'm just reorganising myself, so bear with me. I'm just moving chairs around. Now then, the rest of the ones we've got, um, we've got some beautiful um, dinosaur ones, but I'm going to show them to you next week because we haven't quite rolled them on yet. Donna, hi, welcome. And um, But... We also have, and this is from Dear Stella, these are some other black and whites. They are very cute. So, I think this is, oh, this may be a Robert Kaufman. I'm not sure. I think they're, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the selvage. I can't remember. Oh, I can't find it. Oh, yeah, this Dear Stella. So, this is a black and white animal alphabet. How cute is that? I love the elephants. I love the crocodiles. I love the Iguanas, iguanas. Elizabeth, hi. Keeps cutting out. Oh, hot in Matamata. It's just turned pretty cold here in Masterton. So, um, yeah, I went for a walk down by the park. It was all right this morning, but it's turning a little chilly. 
So here's our second print from Dear Stella with the animals on. It's a lovely one. And white background print. Cute monkeys. Of course, as they say, babies can only see black and white, so it's actually a really good thing for a baby, a black and white quilt. I bought my great niece some black and white books as her first cardboard books, and she loved them. So, oops, we have a thread on that one. This one is a little alphabet. I don't know if you can see that little scattered alphabet. And in the reverse, we've got the the white on uh, black and white. The white is slightly ivory. It's not white, white, white. Zebras. Little rainbows. Very cute. And the opposite rainbows. And last but not least, everyone's favourite, the sloth. The sleepy sloth. There you go. So that is our new fabric for the week. Dear Stella, um, not sure what the range is called, but I shall get it on there. Hi, Sylvia from Magical Mangavai. Mangavai. Cool. So, yeah, I will get that listed and um, then you'll be able to see them. Um, so it's a bit of a preview, that one. <laughs> um, and then I'm also going to show you what I've put in Fabio's as finds and now that I'm down at the shop I've realised there's actually a bit more that I can put in there so I'll be doing that as well later so a couple of them are I've left in the whole pieces that we did before Daddy, hey! <laughs> and then a couple of these are listed so this one is the cat food print I think these are dear Stella as well actually are they? No, they're not. Are they? It's called Meow and Forever, this range. So, the little tins of cat food. And I know this one, I did list this one, little cat faces. Um, but there's also, I've discovered, we've got some more of this one. Oh, hang on. Oh, my computer's just trying to do a something or another and wants my password so let me just do that right that was a rude interruption of it so there's this one Liz hi and I'm also going to put these on so these are whiskers and tails and this one is lots of words about loving cats there you go and this one is doggy words so those will be in there later on ah, we'll catch up <laughs> and of course because yes I've been working at home today on mystery quilts so um, I'm also a, a very exciting project that's going to be coming up so we are going to be doing a little add-on project for the mystery so keep your eyes open for that because um, that's going to be coming out fairly soon or available to book because it's going to be pre-cut project to go with your mystery quilts. Um, so, yeah, eyes peeled for that. Um, so that's what I've been working on this morning and beginning of the afternoon. And of course, I haven't yet done my pick of the week. So, oh, well, we'll get there. I've picked out some fabrics and I have the idea of what we're going to do. So that's those quilts that I moved. Oh, there we go. So some of you may remember that back when we first went into lockdown, I was doing Facebook classes each week and I started with a very basic quilt, our beginner quilt lesson, which is this one. Uh, it's a nice, easy quilt to make. This was our sample. Our original sample and let me go down here and get this one and this was the one that I made during the class this one so really good for a beginner or if you just want a nice simple quilt or you want to use some really interesting fabrics um, so I am going to be um, recovering the 
getting the information for that and making that available. And with that, this is going to be the pick of the week, which is not yet set up. So again, newsletter will come out later in the week when it's all ready. Um, but I've picked out these lovely Ruby Star Crescent fabrics because that reminds me. Oh, Kim, you based your son's 21st quilt on it. Great. So there will be a few different combinations from this range. So because we only have like, these fat quarters left and I thought it would be a great use of those. So that's what we're going to do for pick of the week. So I'll be listing those and there'll be different options which I'll photograph and put on there. So look out for that later in the week. It'll be appearing. Um, yeah, so let me see. I've hidden my board behind the behind Brenda's pink computer. So <laughs> that's why I'm sort of going like this. <laughs> Try and see. Oh, yeah, what else am I going to do? Oh, yeah. We've done Fabienza's find. Uh, the project I'm showing you is the beginner's quilt. The pick of the week's the beginner's quilt. And the fabrics I've shown you. Woohoo! So that's good. So what have you been doing this week? Been doing anything fun? We were going to show you something interesting from the park this week, but because Brenda's not here, we weren't able to show you. <laughs> we'll do it next week. It's a bit of fun and childhood memories. So that will be fun to show you. Um, sitting behind me, well, if you look up there, that's the Aurora mystery quilt from a few years ago. And you see that purple there? That's the Olympia quilt sample. <laughs> it's been quilted and we're going to get them bound next. So uh, we are aiming to do a finishing day on the 30th of April. Probably at the same location that we've done it before, which is at Macora College. Well, it's the... It has a new name name now, um, but it's attached to Macora College, so I'll have to check the name and get back to you with that. It used to be called the TPU, but it has a new name. Um, I'm going to investigate whether we can zoom it as well, because you might be able to see it online. Pauline, you're working on Playful Patchwork? Oh, Sue, you got COVID. Oh, no. COVID just coming right. That's good. Oh, yeah, it's getting closer and closer. <laughs> so Carl had somebody at church who tested positive on Sunday just after church because she had to do one for work and she was didn't have any symptoms. So she had no idea that she had it. And then I was going to get my nails done this week. And no, that's been put off because of COVID. And <laughs> the library next door to us is closed at one o'clock because of COVID. So hopefully we're sort of nearing the the worst of it and um, we'll be getting over it. Touch wood so far. I haven't caught it, I don't think. But um, yeah, yeah. Thoughts with those of you who have. Uh, so hope you feel better soon. So what else have we got to do? Well, yes. Um, I'll tell you what I've been doing this weekend. So we've had a leak in the house. There's been a water leaking and we've been cutting holes in walls and climbing into the loft and we still haven't found it. So that's been fun. So we've had the water turned off most of the time, just <laughs> turning it on to fill things and, and have a shower and do the washing and then turning it off again. Um, and then I tried to get some, I get a banana that I'd been ripening in a paper bag to try and get the peaches to ripen and pull, you know how you pull the top of the banana and then all four tops of the bananas came off. So I made a banana cake and then had to boil the kettle so I could wash up. <laughs> and I've also picked my knitting up again. So I've nearly got to the end of the three Bolleros. So that's very exciting. I shall bring them and show them before I post them off to England. And um, Playful Patchwork, been working on that too, so we've been having lots of fun. Right, well I think it is about time to do a giveaway. So if you remember, last week we have the Love Your Quilt Friends rulers. So we have the, this is Jen Kingwell Beach Road Fat Quarter, 
and Love Your Court Friends Mini Ruler, which is A. So let's do the draw for A. I'll just get my phone. I got down here. It's a good job I brought my charger because my computer, I thought I'd had it plugged in. It wasn't charged. My phone wasn't charged. So, <laughs> but I managed to plug them in. Right, so let's go to, oh, where we are, pretty random. There we go. So our first draw is for giveaway A, which is the mustardy yellow fat quarter with the ruler. And we have 35 people in for that one. So I'll put 35 in. I can get there. 35, come on. Come on, you silly thing. There we go. Right. Are you ready? It's number 15. Who is number 15? It's Cherie Pagan. Congratulations, Cherie. You are a winner. So Cherie is the winner of that one. Let me find my pen, which I did get out before I started. And now I can't. Oh, I hid it. Okay, so there's Cherie. Mark you down, Cherie. If I get the pen to work. There we go. Oh, I'm getting very excited about starting a new project soon with um, knitting, but also doing these things for the mystery. They're very exciting. I'm going to go and check what stock we've got of all the fabrics so that I can figure out how many we can make for everybody, how many kits. It's all going to be pre-cut, so that is exciting. Um, and then giveaway B is this one. So it's the white fat quarter and ruler. And for this one, we've got lots of entries. We got 50 entries for this one. So let's put 50 and randomise a little. Number 22 is Barbara Murray. Congratulations, Barbara. We have winner, winner, chicken dinner. And <laughs> I can't remember who it was. Somebody put their name. It, I'll tell you in a minute because I'll recognise it. Because, yeah, Hannah put her name. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Sorry, Hannah, it didn't work this time. Cherie, woohoo, you're a winner. <laughs> Isn't it great? It's great when you're actually watching at the time and you can comment. I know not everybody can watch live, but yay. Cool. Well done, Cherie. Now, would you like to see what we're going to give away this week? So I have been looking through these Crescent Fat Quarters, so I thought, let's go with some of those. So I thought for A, I would do this Fat Quarter, which is the one with the unicorn and the moons and stuff on. And to go with it, we've got Dazzle Thread, which is pretty cool and a lovely colour. So that's giveaway A. I'm going to write A on it so I remember which is which. And then for giveaway B, same range. Um, this one has owls and bears and hedgehogs and moons and stuff on it. It's very cute. Oh, otters. No, that's the bear's hands. That's the bear's paws. <laughs> I thought that was two otters, but it's not. It's a bear. There's his head. <laughs> and to go with that, a lovely magenta dazzle that matches in with the pink. So that is giveaway B. I'll put B on there. So as always, if you would like to win, you go on to our website, quilterslane.co.nz. And on the top menu, there is a tier three giveaway entry. And if you click on that, it takes you to the form that you need to fill in to be on my list for next week. So get entering and um, apologies about not having everything ready, but we will do. <laughs> Some, there's quite a lot of work on the computer behind the scenes, you know, that goes on. <laughs> but I'm sure you know that. But uh, yeah, we'll, we will get that done and uh, get things ready for you. And a newsletter will be coming out later in the week. So thank you all. And oh, 
You know what I didn't show you is Alison's beautiful bright charm squares which have been really popular that we put in the newsletter this week. Um, so they've been selling rather like hot cakes actually um, and I haven't got them next to me but we can show them to you again. Um, but do take a look on the website and um, we've also got our sherbet peach peach sherbet charm squares available as well. So, oh, thank you, Daddy. Yes, congratulations to our winners. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. It's been uh, short but sweet this week because I'm on my own. And, you know, when Brenda and I are together, we get nattering a lot more. <laughs> Tanya, thank you so much. Thanks for coming, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye.